Hello everyone. Two hours early today. This is because of the Super Bowl. So, I'm looking out here for our giveaway. I've got a lot of names in it today. Hello, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl and Cheryl. Hi, Sandra. I know I'm two hours early because of the Super Bowl, but it's been a busy day here. I took my grandson to basketball practice, and hi, Joan. Got a bunch of things done here in the craft room. Took all the free card kits to my Paper Pumpkin subscribers to the mailbox and got that in. So I was happy for that. Did some more coloring and yeah, had a lot of fun. This week I want to work with, hi Joan, uh, hi Carrie. I want to work with the um, ladybugs. Hello Pam, thank you for sharing. I want to work with the ladybugs. Um, this week. So much fun. I cased a card way back when the catalog, um, you know, went live to demonstrators and I realized I had not even used it really that much yet. So, hi Pam. Thank you everyone for joining a little early. Hi Judy. Thank you so much. So, um, good mid-afternoon. That's right. Here is my host code for the month of February. Hi Robin. If you order $50 in product from me from the um, up till the 15th, you will get the polished dots. Hi, Patty. Thank you for watching. And then um, if your order goes to $100, I will add a white frayed ribbon with that. Um, uh, yeah, and then uh, from the 16th to the 22nd, the Heart and Home Doilies with a $50 order, the Classic Matte Dots with uh, added if you place a $100 order, and at the end of the month, um, and at the end of the month, uh, from the 23rd to the 28th, uh, with the $50 order, the Abstract Beauty Ephemera Pack, and then if you go up to $100, I will add, I know you made it, Patty, I will add a Cotton Ribbon Combo Pack, and when I'm done, or really, uh, hi Mary, by the picture of this card today, there's a drop down menu uh, underneath it and when it goes over to YouTube, there'll be a show more and all of my specials are there for the rest of the month. Hi Karen, hi Jane. Thank you everyone for dropping in a little early. Usually I'm on at seven, but honest, I have watched football all year and um, I have really enjoyed it and I just really wanted to, hi Anita. Um, enjoy the entire football game. So that's all that there is to it. But I had a lot to do too with my grandson today, but because my daughter was working, so. But I also wanted to have enough time and not feel rushed because I was in the middle of the game. Like if I started it and it got interesting, you know, it could be a runaway and could be awful, you know, or something like that. But anyway, so that was my thinking there. Um, so, uh, but I wanted to start this card uh, this week with something totally different, even though it's the ladybug punch. And, um, I did this one here a lot, a while back when I was, um, casing cards. Look how cute that came. And of course I made the ladybugs. Hi, Marsha. Came out really cute. And I love this leaf. This I did in Coastal Cabana. Came out so cute. Today we're going to use mint macaron. And then all week on Tuesday and Wednesday on my lives, a good afternoon, Marsha. Um, and on my lives, uh, I will be using this punch. So a lot of times when you have a punch in a stamp set, it makes it so wonderful because you can either make your own DSP like we did right here. I know, right? Didn't they come out cute? Um, I don't have a dog in the Super Bowl race either, uh, Carrie. I just know that these teams, I, I am enjoying that there's two young quarterbacks and they are, um, you know, just unknown teams that really made it. And so I just would really like to see how it plays out, you know. So, um, yeah. So, um, but anyway, with this card here, uh, of course, I did some... DSP and in this stamp set 
this punch for this flower right here, that also handles our flower punch. I'll be using that through the week. So on Tuesday and Wednesday, I will make a card. And then of course my girls, um, my team gets a card um, every week. But this right here, we have our punch that goes with this. So that's a lot of fun. Hi, Sandra. Thanks for joining early. Hi, Janie. Thanks for thanks everyone for dro dropping on here early. Look how cute. I love the um, the Daffodil Delight with the black and the mint macaron. So pretty, right? So let's go ahead and um, I'll tell you the dimensions of this card is the base is Daffodil Delight, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So it'll open like this. The inside, I used mint macaron here at five by three and three quarter. Basic white, four and three quarter by three and a half. Then on the outside, I did a very thin layer of the um, black, and that's at five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And then the basic white is um, five and a quarter by four. <clears throat> and this comes from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I just, I love these so much. I didn't want my sentiment to take away from making my cute little bees here. Um, they just came out so adorable. Just a different way to use this thing. I've seen um, people even make, um... oh, Patty, that's wonderful. Patty says she's making this along with me. I appreciate that. I've even seen people make um, butterflies using the wings going sideways and then they use something else in the middle for the body a little bit with the antennas are a little bit different. I haven't really looked that up. I probably should, but um, I thought these were adorable, especially with those vellum wings. So let's go ahead and start to make this card. So again, Hello Ladybug Bundle. Not expensive at all. And you, I think that um, you'll get a lot of use out of it. Let's start with the inside of the card first. So first we're going, oh, let me move my mat in here because we have photopolymer. So first we're going to stamp, um, you can bug me anytime. And I'm gonna use some mint macaron, daffodil delight, and tuxedo memento black ink. Tonight we'll use that. So that's wonderful. Okay, here we go. You can bug me anytime. Can you believe that um, two weeks left in celebration? Two weeks left in celebration. I just can't even. It went by so quick. Two How could two months go by so fast like that? But it did. Right here in the center. Hi, Linda. Cute. Now I'm gonna take my flowers and I'm gonna do those in Daffodil Delight. And this comes with just this little cluster of three flowers. And I'm just gonna kind of put it around my saying right here. And then let's go ahead and do the envelope while we're at it right here. And I'm just stamping this yellow flower, Daffodil Delight, in the corner here, and then on the back. Hi, Linda. Thank you for joining. Hey, Lily. Yard work and a very peppy 13-month-old rescue dog. I saw that you rescued that dog. I know. Oh, that was so sweet of you, Lily. That's so nice. I saw that. Lily's on my team. She rescued a puppy. She rescued somebody that needed help. So cute. When you get accept, can, will you explain how to use the stamp and seal? I was scrapbooking this weekend. Oh, let's see. Ta ta ta. I was scrapbooking this weekend and about three, throw it away. It skips and misses a lot. Yes, hang on just one second and we will, you know what? Huh. Instead of doing, now <clears throat> there's stamp and seal. Sandra was asking about stamp and seal. Are you using stamp and seal, hi Paula, or are you using the plus? 
That would be my first question. The plus is the has the bluer. Um, the plus has the darker blue where this is like a lighter blue. And the thing about this is if you are using the stamp and seal, hi Sue, um, not to use pressure, just very lightly. And you have to kind of get the tape, the, the sticky part to the end so you can roll it up just a little bit, okay? Just roll it until you can feel it. And then light, very, very light pressure. And then when you're at the bottom, either rock up or check off. What that does is keep the tape to the edge of the stamp and seal on both of them. The stamp and seal plus, especially, you have to use very, very, very light pressure. The lighter the pressure, the easier. The when you use a lot of pressure with this, it picks the um, the uh, paper right up with it. It'll roll right up in it with it. So very extremely light pressure with Stamp and Seal Plus. But here we go again. Now, now I checked. I rocked it up and I checked it off. So my tape is right at the end. So now watch when I start. It's coming right out. But I promise you, I am barely putting any pressure. I'm rocking it up and I'm checking it off. Oh, okay, Anita. You know, I don't use this enough, I'll tell you, because, and that's my fault, because where I don't get things straight a whole lot, you hear me say that all the time. Um, I like the liquid glue, so I have that wiggle room, but we could definitely go through this. Now watch again, okay? So now that I rocked it up and I checked it off, you can see it. It is right there at that tip. Let me let that focus right there. Okay, so now I can just, and I mean ever so gently, you'll see it, the, the more gentle and slowly, okay? Rock it up, check it off. And you'll see, um, you know, I'm probably going really, really slow, but um, it, the slower that you go, the better uh, that you'll, that it will lay down on the paper. It's absolutely, I promise you, it's perfect right now. This is, let me show it to you. I know you can see it shining. See how it is just on there? The full quarter of an inch, absolutely perfect. And the whole thing with that is the less pressure, less is more, less is more. Okay, now I'm going to place this here. Wonderful, ha, that came out nice, right? Okay, now let me go to the Seal Plus, okay? Uh, what the difference in the two? I'd rather use tape on back of photos. Uh, the, the difference is that this one is stronger. The Seal Plus is stronger, okay? That, uh, so they say, than the regular Stamp and Seal. Um, I find I really like the Stamp and Seal Let's use the plus on this. Okay, and again, of the lightest touch, see I have to, first you gotta get it to the edge. There we go. And now just the absolute lightest, and I'm gonna show you the difference here. Rock it up, check it off. Now, remember the other one, how smooth it was? Can you see how this one has like little, I don't know, like lines in it? The adhesive of this is unbelievable. So that's the plus. Let me just put a line of this on here. This is the seal. Oh, thank you, Marsha. Um, okay, so see the smoothness of the seal? And now look at how there are kind of ridges in the seal plus. And with seal plus, you have to be careful on cardstock, exactly. But I think the plus is more for boxing. Uh, yes, the Seal Plus is definitely for, um, you know, it's almost like um, tear and tape. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it is, like, that strong, like, tear and tape strong, okay? So, but that's the two of them. And I'm thinking that because this is, like, corrugated or variegated a little bit there, um, that that, too, is what gives you the adhesion on the cardstock. And like I said, especially with this, you have to be ever so careful to go ever so slow with it and light 
or it will pick that paper up. It'll just roll right up into it. I've had that happen because I've been, you know, just too um, heavy handed with it. So like once you get used to doing this, it just goes quickly, just like that. It really does. I did a lot of rolling it to the edge. Yes, most definitely. Hi, Peggy. Thank you for joining. That's a very good question on how to use that adhesive. Let me bring in my Daffodil Delight and let's place this right here in the center. I like them both. I, I like the seal myself. I like the seal better than the seal plus because um, the seal plus you even have to use like less pressure, you know. Okay, so now here on the outside of this one, we're going to add some basic black, and this is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. But first, we're gonna do some stamping. Let's make some of our own DSP, which I love to do. I don't do this enough. I'm gonna take this huge leaf into the mint macaron, and you know what I even thought after I was done? But not promising because I'm still mad at it. <laughs> I get it, Sandra. I totally get that. I totally understand it, yes. So I even thought, like, wouldn't this be pretty if I put some yellow flowers in the middle? I don't know. No, I'm not going to change it. It looks so pretty with this behind it. I thought if I even put some yellow, um, you know, in Daffodil Delight, but this does really look good with just this mint macaron and these... Um, pretty leaves behind it. Oops, I have a little piece of something there. So I'm just coming through here and making my own DSP, randomly stamping this leaf anywhere. And I'm coming off and on the page just to make it look like they're just kind of flying around. Or maybe they're in a pond. Maybe, it, you know, it's like it's like a lily pad or something. But I don't know what kind of a leaf this is. You know, guys, the other day I, I look, was at Tractor Supply looking for tulip seeds. I didn't know that they came in bulbs. And honest, that comes, <laughs> that comes so honest. There we go. Look how pretty. Isn't that so pretty? I love to make my own DSP. Okay, let's move this aside. Well, no, let's go ahead and um, stick this on here. Ooh, am I, do I have that right? Yes, okay. I, this is very, very thin. The five and three eighths by uh, four and one eighth. This is five and a quarter by four. Hi, Maureen. Yes, it is. Happy Valentine's Day. Ooh, we need to pick somebody to win this card tonight. Ooh, I'm almost out of Tombow here. Hang on, let me get another one. Okay, right after I adhere this on here. Did you get your bulbs? No, I did not get any bulbs. How funny. If I put tulips out there, they would have to be like plastic ones or silk or something because you know, I just can't even. It's really pathetic. I mean, I, I and then I feel really bad. Like my one daughter, she can grow. Hi, Linda. Thank you for joining. I think this is the first time joining. I appreciate that. My one daughter, she, you know, orchids are hard to grow. But she had this orchid and the thing, you know, it was dying and everything. She nursed that thing back to health. And she, I mean, it was just beautiful when it bloomed. It was so purple and it was happy. And yeah. See, but then I, I start to feel bad because I'm like, oh, gosh. Hi, Glenda. You know, when, when I kill a plant. So. so what were you doing with seeds? Oh, I was making, oh, did you not see? Oh, Laura was asking what I was doing with seeds. I love when we get on here. Hang on one second. Let me show you what I did with seeds. These were cards from last week. And please, guys, go check them out. I have them right here. I, I um, did the um, home and garden a bundle last week and so I did a seed pack and I went to the day before I went to um, tractor supply it's just right down the road from me and 
I said, um, do you have any seeds? And she said, oh, we're just starting to put them out. And I said, oh, okay. So I picked this, the morning glories, because of the colors. I thought that that was pretty much close to what I had here, right? Okay, so yeah, you'll have to check these videos out. They're on um, YouTube and here on this Facebook uh, channel. But it all, you know, I know Facebook, it kind of gets buried down in the pile. So you probably better to go to my YouTube channel and check them out. But um, I made this with the triangle dies. And um, so I go into Tractor Supply, and I luckily I didn't open my mouth, okay, and say, where are the tul? I was looking to match my DSP. Where are the tulip seeds, okay? Be luckily I said nothing, and I just, she just said we're just starting to put them out. So when she said that, I thought, oh, okay, they haven't gotten around to the tulip seeds yet, and so I'm on here. <laughs> Is it? I know, right? I mean, you could put anything in here. You could put lettuce, cucumbers, anything, you know. Um, so I'm on here, and I'm explaining about this and the card and the seeds. And luckily, Carrie was kind enough to say, Joy and Honey, tulips are bulbs. And I started <laughs> cracking up. So, And then this is the card that I did for my team. I paired it with Plentiful Plants. Didn't that come out cute? My team gets a special video every week on my Happy Crafting Corner. And then we did this one. We did the dad one, the manly one right there. That came out so cute, right? And then we did a little feminine one here. And some, pe some people love to garden, right? I would love to, you know, if I could. Uh, and you know, it's so funny. Okay, so as, as I keep, as I, well, I have to talk to you as I make these. I have to tell you about this garden, uh, this planter that I saw today. I was just thumbing through, oh, thank you, Linda. I mean, this is from Stitch So Sweetly, and I'm going to uh, stamp hello in Tuxedo Memento Black Ink on it. So I'm scrolling through Facebook, and I thought to myself, you know, I, I go to the farmer's market because, you know, I'm one person. It's very, very difficult to grow vegetables for one person that, you know, you know you can't, you just about can't do that. Okay, so uh, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of scrolling through Facebook. And someone had gotten a, um, we're going to use, we're going to make two black bodied little butter or uh, ladybugs and one little daffodil delight one. And so uh, they had taken a little kiddie pool that was like $7, okay? The, the harder plastic kiddie pools that go outside. They took a drill and drilled holes in the bottom of it. And then they filled it up with dirt. Now, like they said, you can't move the thing because there's like, you know, 50 pounds of dirt in there or whatever. Hi, Anita. But she showed how you could plant like two radishes, a pepper, one of this, one of that. You're, even my house plants are silk. Oh, Carrie, you are hilarious, right? That is me. Hi, Lynn. Um, but I thought to myself, my goodness, for, you know, like she had like two tomato plants, one bell pepper plant. She planted a salad, okay? And, but it was in this plastic pool. And I thought, oh my goodness, I could do that. That, I think I might even try that. I think, I'm, I don't know. I might even give that a go. I'm not sure. But I thought to myself, you know, because um, she was saying how, you know, some gardens are large and big to take care of. Just tell me on early. Oh, you're good, Lynn. We just kind of, you know, I just now put this together. I just now did the background stamping um, of, you know, making our own DSP there. I did the inside right here. You can bug me anytime. And now really we're getting to the great part of making these absolutely cute little, oh, they're so cute bees. Still grass side up. I know, right? <laughs> oh my God, Lynn, please. I know, right? Lynn had been very sick again. So I'm glad you're here and, and doing well. Okay, so I have the, you really, you, the only size that you need is about an inch and a half here of paper. And I'm going to make, I want to make two of them with yellow stripes and one with dark stripes. Now, I did see a video where somebody took like these stripes or, the, okay, so this piece is piece of scrap. It's an eighth of an inch, right? Am I an eighth of an inch? I think, yeah. Okay, so it's an eighth of an inch. 
and she took these scraps and left enough up here for the little head of the ladybug to stick out and she um, glued these across like that and then took the punch and punched it out which gives you a nice um, area you know that's nicely punched but I tried to do that and I'll tell you it, it was a little bit hard going through two thicknesses of paper so I decided to do it this way so that's just me um, so yeah but you can do it that way now I'm gonna punch out the little basic black one in basic black okay actually two in basic black like I said this is an inch and a half so right here okay and then one in daffodil delight right here there we go okay now so with my little eighth of an inch use the plastic storage containers the same Oh, drain holes and put some small twigs in the bottom to fill with gardening. Let me see. Gardening so great for deck gardening. Oh, okay. Sandra says, now see, this might even be better because I was even thinking, I love my retire so quick and easy, right? Aren't re, Punches are great. I love, yeah, I'm going to do one card, one of these cards. I think it's on, it might be Tuesday or Wednesday, but it's just all punch, all punches because punches are fun. Um, so Sandra says that she, um, you can use a plastic container, like I guess get from the Dollar Tree, right? And, and grow like one plant in each. That might be great. I have a nice little table out back that I could do some and make my own little tabletop garden of just, you know, just maybe a couple of things like a tomato plant or something, you know, just a couple of things, maybe a radish or two. Oh, Ooh, did you see it? Did you see it say? something whoo i almost had a i almost lost it so i'm going to glue these on here okay i'm just going to use some tombow liquid adhesive i thought for a second it buffered it would be my luck the super bowl and like i lose connection or something now the first one i want to put right up here at the neck okay of the little ladybug I, I did too. I saw it. I saw it like a buffer and I was like, oh no. Okay. And I want all of this to hang over. So, and I'm just going to cut this and then I'm going to do another one and I'm just putting the glue kind of in the middle, just having fun with it. I managed to grow cilantro that way and it came back for several years. That's wonderful. I love cilantro. Just like this. And right now I'm just like, just giving it a little raw cut right there. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make sure that there's just a little bit of the black cardstock looking out, peeking out from the bottom. And now, like I said, these are about an eighth of an inch. You can even make them skinnier than this if you want to. And then just position this to where... The black shows through and it's going to look real cute when we cut it all back I promise okay okay now I then I just flip it over and I just trim it now this kind of fussy cutting is no problem whatsoever easy peasy you just follow the contour of the little and that cute of the ladybug itself and we're gonna make are little bees. Carrie, are you keeping up? Are you able to keep going here? I forgot Carrie is said, or not Carrie, um, Patty said she was crafting right with me. Look how cute. Is it, look, okay, from this to that, th that's just adorable, right? Let's do that again. So I'm just going to, I know I love cilantro yeah do this and I'm gonna put this right up here at the neck of the little ladybug and you'll see why up there too when we put the wings on okay and then this one 
just here in the center with the little glue right here. So adorable. Whoop. But I've got, you know, the liquid glue gives me that wiggle room. And then one on the bottom. But now, like I said, you could put these stripes on. Um... Oh, good. I'm glad, Patty. Patty said, yes, she is. That's wonderful. Um, now, you can put, like I said, you can put these stripes on a piece of black and punch the whole thing out. I tried to do that. I just felt it was a little thick going through my punch there. And I kind of, I like my little punch. I like my ladybug, so I didn't want to break it. So that's why then I reverted to this this way. But I get, you know, I've seen people do it, so they're okay with it. If you are, that's fine. So right there. How cute. Oh, wait till we make the wings. They're just so, they're so simple, but, and they're just a piece of vellum. Just vellum. So I'm just clipping these right here now you're in my way there we go okay i had success with potted plant back in my woodstock year <laughs> len <laughs> that's hilarious okay there's the two little bees now we have to do this one this little guy is daffodil delight let's use some little black stripes and then you know you can even i don't have any but i thought googly eyes little teeny tiny googly eyes would look adorable on this little thing right and right here so cute Those type of pot of plants are now legal where I live. Yes, they are. Yes, ma'am, they are. Pe oh, Peggy, okay. I don't know where you're from. What exactly did you grow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. So look how cute these are. These are yellow. And, you know, see, and then these are just a little bit skinnier stripes, and these are a little bit thicker, because on it, these are just, like, scraps. And I just took a scrap and just zipped it in half just to get the line straight. And, um, yeah, so you can make them skinny or thick or, you know, whatever that you want there. And they come out so stinking cute. We're just going to trim around here just like that. And trimming. <laughs> That's awesome, Peggy. I know, right? I love I love to get on here. Well, see, and that too is why I wanted to change the time tonight because I didn't want to feel rushed. And I love getting on here and chit-chatting with everybody and just having a good time and, you know, talking about whatever we want to talk about along with doing some cute card of some sort. <laughs> Okay, now, this is where I really like, um, oh, let me pick, let me pick somebody. Ta-da, let me pick somebody. They're going to win this card. I'll send you this card. Get somebody down here at the bottom of the bucket. Ta-da-da. Hey, Lynn. Lynn Tenaglia. All right. Okay, now let's go ahead and make our wings. This is where I like my, um, uh, hi Kay, um, glue dots from Paper Pumpkin. And here is just a piece of vellum. It's about an um, inch, inch and a quarter. Yay! Now I'm going to put this in here where the wings are and we're just going to punch out three of them. Very simple. Yay, Lynn. I just cut that piece off and then I stick it in here again and just 
punch. But this is really where it comes out just too cute. It's these little wings, these little fairy wings that I don't know, they're just so cute in, vel in just plain vellum. So here's where I'm going to place And I tried to use a, a regular size glue dot. They're, uh, they're big, you know? So I, I like this, the little one right here. And I'm gonna put it right here. It fits perfectly right into that spot right there. And we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and put this right here, right up by that neck of, see, that's why we wanted that the first black line that we put up there right toward the neck of it so that you would see it. Isn't that cute? The minute you put the wings on, isn't that adorable? So cute. Okay, let's turn these over and let's put two of these on. These little, oh, thank you, Paula. Oh, you're welcome, Lynn. Thank you so, and I'm so glad you're feeling better. It's a good time to win something when you've been on the puny side there. Look at how cute this is. Oh, that's so adorable. You can't even really see that. Oh, thank you, Marsha. You can't really even see the, um, the glue dot, but we're even going to make it cuter because then um, the classic matte dots and I'm giving these away with a $100 order between the 16th and the 22nd of this month. But I'm going to take a, these, the black ones right here. You might have um, the black matte, uh, matte dots. They work also. And this fits over that glue dot perfectly. Watch how cute. Just one makes this. Just one large one. Look at how, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, they're adorable, right? <laughs> they're so cute oh my goodness that is just adorable okay now we're gonna put these I always wind up not moving that mat I always wind up like working on it we're gonna put some dimensionals on here and place this on oh the iridescent rhinestones came in oh i'm so glad anita oh i hope you do sit and make these you know here's the thing you can you can do a card with just about anything okay you could use the new horizons bundle and add a bumblebee yeah you know these are just cute to add to anything great for happy birthday how are you feeling everything oh let me get some dimensionals right back here and I want two do I have them out here two minis on this one okay all right <clears throat> let's go ahead and move our little bugs over there <laughs> now first hi Ramona I'm going to put the hello up here by my leaf and then I'm just gonna let my bumblebees fly around I'm gonna put one with the little um, the black bodied one down here and then the other one up here flying kind of in you know in a different direction and then the yellow one the daffodil delight let's bring her right in here like she's on the little lily, the pet, little leaves too. Aren't they cute? I still think googly eyes would look adorable on this card. That is so cute. Let's go ahead and put some rhinestones. And up here, just by the hello. Oh, thank you, Joan. Didn't it come out cute? Look at the little bees. They're adorable. Oh, I know what is wrong here. I keep looking. Something's wrong. This is too yellow. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Back up the bus. Let me show you this. I Okay, so thank you, Marsha, but this is even cuter. 
this, the antenna here, I keep going, there's something's wrong with this card. The antenna. See your little antenna here and clip a little bit. Funny, I'm allergic to bees. Oh, how funny. Okay, so like, if you're going to put this in here, let's just say, let me clip. Okay. Let's just say we have a little piece like this, okay? And I'm gonna put this in here. And you're gonna to wanna to clip it to where you have a little bit of the head in there too, okay? Hi, Roxanne. Just a little bit, to, cause you want the antenna. Okay, just like that. I was like, what am I missing here? So I kept looking at it and, and stopping. Okay, now we're just gonna clip these little babies off right here. Just bring your scissor and just give them a little snip right there. Whoa. Okay, I see it. Thought I lost it. And come around there and just clip them off. But you need this part to kind of hold on to it. Hi, Roxanne. That's okay. You can watch the replay. But you're gonna love you're gonna love putting these little bumblebees together. They really came out cute. Okay, now you which you don't want to have like little pieces of black hanging out here, little pieces of cardstock. So just trim it up just a little bit. Give a little snip. There we go. And a little Tombow right here. So watch how we make this look really cool. I was going to suggest maybe some black gems on there. Yeah, definitely. Right, Sandra? Yeah. So here. Watch this. Put the antenna, oh my gosh. Look at how stinking cute that looks. So again, from cutting it off, you'll just have little things hanging out there. Just clip it back. So cute, right? Put your Tombow on your antenna here. Oh, thank you for the hearts, I appreciate it. Look here, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay, now that looks better, right? That looks a lot better, yeah. Okay, now more. Um, oh, thank you, Jean. More rhinestones. Let's put one over here and a couple more down here. Thank you so much. How adorable. Okay. Oh, just like they're in the garden, right? So cute. This is not a difficult card to make. When you use punch art, it really takes a lot of, um, you know, of, of cutting and everything out of the time that you're, you know, into making the card. But you can get a really cute result. I mean, look how adorable that is. But the same punch, different colors, okay, made this card. The exact same punch made this one. Okay, and where I made the, um, the ladybugs. And I stamped those. Hi, Teresa. But right here we did all punching and I just love, don't forget to put these um, wings on and use your vellum. Vellum looks really, really, really cute on these little things, really adorable. Those little butterfly gems would also look cute on the card. Okay, that's a good idea. I have them right here. You know what, that's right. Because butterflies and Look, I'm almost out of my butterflies. I have to order more. Butterflies and bees would look cute together, right? Let's do this. Can I put the, the, the rhinestones and the gold? What do you think? The rhinestones and the gold? Why not, right? That's cute. That's adorable. The rhinestones, I like it. I'll put another one up here. 
That is so cute. <clears throat> Almost like you have the dew would, you know, on in the morning um, it would be the rhinestones <clears throat> or maybe after a nice rain, okay? Uh, the little rhinestones, but then you have your butterflies and your little bees flying around and I think that is just too cute. Love it. Thank you very much for that suggestion. That just made that card pop, didn't it? All right, here we are for this evening. Thanks again, everyone, for... Oh, you have two packages of the butterfly gems coming. Yes, now they will... Now that I see that I only have those left, they have I've got to go on an order, right? So, oh, yes, the iridescent rhinestones. They were supposed to be in on the 14th. They actually, because now I check every day, they came in early. And they have already been ordered for everyone that has uh, ordered from the 1st to the 8th. I was waiting for that to happen so that um, I could order and get you those iridescent rhinestones. Which then also means if you are looking to order the... Um, Hi, Linda. The leaves are from what stamp set? Oh, Hello Ladybug. Right here. Hello Ladybug. Isn't it amazing? You wouldn't even think, right, where that leaf came from. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, the iridescent rhinestones came in, so I was really happy with that. So I was kind of holding back uh, with card kits and sending all of that out until uh, they came in. So I was glad, and they came. They even came in early. Oh, you're welcome. Stamp and seal going to see if I can forgive the stamp and seal. Okay, I hope you can, Sandra. A very, very light touch is the best thing with the stamp and seal. Either one. Seal, seal plus. She was mad at her stamp and seal. It was not cooperating today. So, so, and I can understand. I can totally get that. So, here we are for this evening. I'll be on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. And we will make another wonderful card using the, um, the uh, Hello Ladybug bundle. So thanks again for watching. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate you. I appreciate you supporting my business. I really, I really do. I appreciate you watching. And everyone that orders from me, thank you so much. You keep me going. And that's it. I, I can just sit in here and create some really, really cute things. I hope you guys will try this card. Or at least make some, make some bees and put them on a card. Uh, just a different way to use this stamp set and this punch. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you on Tuesday, 10 a.m. on my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching.